Hello, it's Marissa from Providence, Rhode Island. You know that thing that you always want to do and just don't do? Well, I'm doing it. I'm traveling across the U.S. and making this video journal on YouTube to document my travels. Why am I traveling across the U.S., you might ask? Well, because A, I love the U.S., and B, I really love talking. It's one of the few things I do really love doing pretty consistently in my life. Same thing with helping people. I always love helping people. So my intention is to travel across the U.S., talk to as many people as possible, and help as many of them as possible. Today, I started off a little late. I ended up starting at 1.25 in the afternoon. And... That slow start led to me realizing that my trailer's way too heavy. I mean, it's it's really heavy. So heavy, in fact, that it has made my, I want to say average, it's more like the mode speed of three miles per hour. I mean, that's, that's pretty slow. I mean, yeah. So I didn't have some things, and I went to Home Depot to pick up a new vest, a small vice grip. I love vice grips, favorite tool. And I talked to a couple of people there and they were lovely and I gave them my card. So I hope to hear from them. Hi, if you're here. And it was slow. It was mostly a small uphill. I went down Route 6. Um, my trip today was between South Dartmouth and Providence, Rhode Island. Route 6 is a, I don't know, it's a four-lane highway. And I had a headwind for a lot of it. It was, it was a struggle. I had it in, I think it's called the lowest gear. Maybe it's the highest gear. Um, possible the whole time, whichever one causes the least resistance. Well, not the whole time, most of the time. When I finally reached Fall River, I was so pleased. Um, I don't know if y'all know this, but Dartmouth is really big. It's like really big. And I finally reached Fall River and I was just so pleased. And I realized there was no way I was going to make it to my friend's house in Providence before like midnight at the rate that I was going and uh, I took a bus uh, I'm committed to traveling in as eco-friendly a way as possible which is why I chose a bike I find that public transportation is also a great way I was really scared that they wouldn't let my trailer on the bus I knew the bike would be fine um, the human running the bus was really nice about it and, uh, lowered the handicap ramp for me. It would have been a struggle otherwise. I was very glad it worked out. And when I arrived in Providence, I looked up the routes. Well, I think I did on the bus. I looked up the routes to get to my friend's house. And one of them took it me up this hill. And I know that hill. I've been here, obviously. And I was just like, no, we'll do everything to avoid that hill. Absolutely everything. So I picked a different route. Here's the thing. I started a little weird, so it recalculated. It was too late by the time that I realized that I was on the wrong route. Uh, so I just, uh, I was too far in. I, I just had nothing to it but to do it just plugging along up this hill and I told myself take 60 steps and then you can take a break I mean that's how steep this hill was and that's also how heavy my trailer is 60 steps take a break one time I really wanted to stop at 49 I really did it was it was bad and I was like nope gotta do 60 so I did I'm proud of myself for sticking to it out of the entire time the, the the whole distance, I only biked 16 
0.75 miles of it. This is not a lot for that distance. It's it's at minimum 40 miles. It's probably longer. I'm I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I'm still in pain. I definitely took some ibuprofen and uh, am strategically icy myself, which is helping. I'd like to thank you for listening to my journal, and I look forward to talking to y'all tomorrow night.